Hello. So this is our mise en scène video. Um, so basically, the meaning of mise en scène is the arrangement of scenery. Uh, for example, location, props, costume, and basically like how like props and stuff can help fit like genre conventions and clear like a narrative within a sequence. In our sequences, we set it up as an abandoned shed. We dress Sean in typical clothing of trackies um, to fit iconography of gang members. He had a burner phone. He used um, fake drugs and money to exaggerate the conventions. Um, what else did we use? We used fake drugs, money, money. Um, oh, a he, big bag. Bag, bag, yeah. bag. And the... Um, um, With our location, uh, there was a few aspects on the day which changed it as um, it started to heavily rain, which uh, meant that we couldn't do a few scenes with um, the like fishing wire across the trees, but we think that this made the video look actually better in a way, as it would have broken it up and it would have lost suspense. Um, we used the this abandoned shed, which uh, is is very like rustic. It's got broken glass everywhere, so it obviously is a bit dangerous. But it did fit the like the, it was perfect for what our video was, um, because it was it looked like someone hadn't been there in years, and that's what we wanted. And yeah, it was just perfect for our video. But then we had to like bear that in mind about the broken glass and it was quite yeah. uneven the ground and yeah we we did have another shed which was very close to uh, the one we used which was a lot more um it, like it had modern, been used it was, it was a lot more modern it had tools in it and we were originally like a few days before going to use it there we changed our mind as we thought this would look it just didn't fit the scene well enough and we wanted that sort of like rustic, sort of abandoned building look, so yeah, to that's kind why of we fit the to, idea and like yeah. give a better understanding. So that's why we went with the shed. Um, well, we didn't use any makeup uh, because we thought that Sean was the perfect, like, the perfect person to represent who he wanted to represent, being like a scruffy, uh, I don't know, great type. Members. Yeah, and um. Yeah, so the only thing we managed to do is just scruff up his hair in like a tiny bit and we put it on clothes which also suit, suit, suited his um, role. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, and it just didn't really like fit a, like a stereotypical like representation of someone in a gang so we just didn't really need to use any makeup and all the clothes we used we borrowed from like friends and stuff. Yeah, and they all fit the. It almost changed him as a person, as it, it like it did, it did suit our um like our movie role really well. Yeah, yeah. different appearance. His appearance, yeah, his appearance looked, looked like completely it, it different. It was. It looked really good, and it, it changed what he looked like, and yeah. Um, we didn't really use like. Um, lighting because we had a lot of like natural yeah, lighting. It was really we good. didn't really want it to look forced. We wanted to make the it, the sequence look like it was more of like a like a, an occurrence. Like it didn't look staged. Yeah. Like it was just like an ongoing thing. So we didn't yeah. really need to use lighting. We could just like change the settings on the camera for that because um, we had like natural daylight yeah. since it was in and the shed the, and stuff. The, the and daylight, like the daylight changed. Like obviously, like as we went through the day filming so it it does it will change the light will change slightly yeah, because that will actually look much more natural as he's progressing yeah, and going realistic. on yeah it'll be a lot more realistic than a constant light which might not have it, it might have looked good on the it camera it might have looked a bit but too it, good it would, though, i reckon it would look around. too staged yeah and it just wouldn't in a dark gloomy forest with a mineral shed it's not going to be super bright so. yeah thanks for watching